My name is Airman First Class Courtney Simmers, United States Air Force, with the 779th Medical Wing, one of only two medical wings in the Air Force. I work as a medic in the Aeromedical Staging Facility at Joint Base Andrews in the Air Force District of Washington. This is the first checkpoint on American soil for the nation's returning wounded warriors. The ASF is a 45-bed medical facility where patients can relax and heal while en route to their home station. Here, I am a part of a medical team that provides top-notch health care to returning service members. In cooperation with Air Force medical evacuation crews, I help to ensure safe transport for any soldier, sailor, airman, or marine who needs definitive medical treatment stateside. From improvised explosive device blast injuries, to appendicitis, to post-traumatic stress disorder, to migraines. Here at the ASF, we treat a wide scope of conditions. Each mission begins with a convoy of patient transport vehicles from the ASF and Walter Reed to the flight line at Joint Base Andrews. Soon, a C-17 aircraft full of patients from Launchstuhl Regional Medical Center in Germany will land here. When the tail of the plane drops, I become witness to the human impact of war. On board are nearly 50 patients. A quarter of them can't walk and are lying on litters. Two of them breathe only with a ventilator. Four of them require mental health attendance. As the nurses give report and reconcile medications, the patients who are unable to walk will be carried off the plane by ASF staff and loaded into the ambulance buses. Again and again, I'm amazed at the physical and emotional resilience of our patients. Many of the men and women return home with conditions that will forever change their lives. They have lived the worst parts of war movies, the parts where I close my eyes. Yet their attitudes and demeanor remain cheerful and humorous. One patient recently yelled, Look, a stop sign I can read. It's English. God bless America. The front desk has Pizza Hut on speed dial for the soldiers who can't wait another day for stuffed crust. I've seen dozens of crinkled and folded photographs from the breast pockets of proud fathers and husbands. Of course, each photo comes with an animated narrative about its subject. But it's not always lighthearted conversations here. I remember a mission when three soldiers from the same unit passed through the ASF. They became patients after their MRAP had rolled over in an IED blast and exploded in flames. They had significant burn injuries, broken bones, extensive bruises, and scrapes. These guys were the lucky ones. There had been five people in the MRAP that day. While I cleaned and redressed his wounds, one man recounted how his burns got to be so severe. He remembered rushing back into the flames to save a friend, a brave yet failed action. He passed me a newspaper article about the young man who didn't make it to the ASF. My part of the Air Force District of Washington mission is to care for the nation's returning wounded warriors. Together with doctors, nurses, service liaisons, Red Cross volunteers, and other medical technicians, I help to welcome, care for, and comfort the bravest of any patients the United States of America has to offer. This is my mission. My name is Airman First Class Courtney Simmers, 779th Medical Wing, United States Air Force.